Okay. So, on my way to Godfrey's, got to finish up his website. I got it pretty much done. I just got to finish the uh, store front uh, so he can start selling his products and services on his website. Because right now, he just doesn't have a good way to keep track of everything. And I think the website will be a good help for that. So, as I mentioned in the other video, the deal with the house fell through, but, you know, can't blame the lady, you know, the one Achilles heel we have with this house is the flood insurance requirement. The, uh, we get, uh, lots of people, uh, you know, we do a lot of showings, you know, several a week, and I've been following it on Zillow and, uh, Zillow.com. And uh, we're averaging about 30 to 80 views a day, typically. And um, uh, several saves, which means, you know, somebody bookmarked it for later, right? So, you know, we'll have to see how that goes. But, um, you know, nobody's complaining about the price, but yet, you know, we've only had the one offer, so... I'm really at a point where I want to lower the price. I mean, like, dramatically. But the real estate agent keeps telling my wife, no, that's a bad idea. It'll sell, it'll sell. But she's also the one that told us that it would sell, like, really quick once we get the house painted. Okay, we spent three grand, got the house painted, and it's still sitting there. So, I, you know, so I'm going to be a little bit more patient, but then that'll be it. I, you know, I'm going to have to insist that we lower the price because what we need to do is make it so attractive that the flood insurance is not a big deal, right? Because right now it's going for what a house like that on the market would go for if you didn't have to have the flood insurance. So, you know, it's just that sort of a deal where, you know, we got to figure that out. So, I had a lot of good comments on there, so thank you all for everybody uh, commenting. Uh, I hope everybody sees the video is doing it, but it's the fly wheel, and it kind of makes sense to do it, so I'm going to see how to hit that. Uh, right now, the tracks are surrounded by a swampy mess, so I'm going to have to wait until it dries out a little bit. Um, so, I'll check the round list. The problem with it is, it's not an easy motor to get in and out. It's first of all stupid heavy. Uh, second, um, oh, the buffalo are out for them. Nice, it's a baby one, it's good. Uh, the place has a store where you can go in and get fresh buffalo meat. Oh, so, so that's what I think that's the place to go. Um, so, uh, so, the, the, the starter that was on the motor when I got the tractor, and the starter I have now, the starters I bought, well, I don't, the, they look like identical starter motors, so, so my, there's really no adjustments on it. If I had to shim it, I would have to put, like, washers or metal behind the bolt. If I had to shim it, I would have to put, like, washers. Um, so, I'm wondering if I just have the wrong starter motor. Because uh, I went off the part number of the starter that was on the motor, and then looking at it, I'm not entirely sure that was the original starter. And I did have problems with that starter, which is why I got rid of it, which is why I bought the one I have. So I'm thinking if that flywheel is true and, and not uh, out of round, or because I looked at the teeth earlier, uh, yesterday, two days ago, Friday. Um, I had Friday off, so I, I took a few minutes to kind of spun the flywheel around. The teeth are in almost perfect condition. I, I, I just don't think it's a tooth problem. What it could be is out of round, like everybody suggested. Uh, it, and that would not surprise me. So I'll check that first. But if that pans out, I think the next thing is going to be... Um, the next thing will be to... Uh, uh, replace the starter and see if I can I've got the parts break out for that motor obviously so I'll see if I can get the uh, actual part number for the starter listed in the parts break out and just you know see what I can come up with um, maybe that's just a, enough of a difference in the starter like it sits too close to the flywheel but the original starter may not you know 
So I don't know. I have to I have to check into that and see. So even though I'm going to work technically, <laughs> uh, this is a day, good day for a ride. Uh, I don't mind helping Godfrey out. He can't do this on his own. He doesn't make that much money to pay somebody $90 an hour to do his website. So I'll do what I can, and he'll have to pay for somebody to do the more... Uh, if, if, he does, if he wants to do anything more complicated than what we have, then he'll, he'll need to pay a professional. Um, I can get him all the way there. Oh, man, look at that road. Oh, God, I want to take that road looks fresh take a second here adjust my mirrors because they're in a little bit you know he's helping out a lot with my bike yeah. you know he uh he's had a little bit of a job he's going to get the bike over to my bike uh i think he was the bike my bike i did all the work but you know while he was working on another bike uh he let me do it in his shop so i could ask questions if i had any i did that had a couple um, so, it worked out, uh, and so we kind of uh, help each other out that way. I, I try not to take advantage of it, though, because I feel like it would be really easy to do that, and I, I really don't want to. truck acts as a planter. Oh, I've got a big speaker. It's a little Chevy. Classic 